there's something that we cannot change in life, is our genetic material, our DNA. If you inherit a specific mutation from your parents, uh, you might be more likely to develop specific diseases. However, what if I told you that the effect of certain type of mutations can be controlled by changing environmental factors? For example, by changing the composition of the microorganisms that inhabit your digestive tract. My name is Irene Millán and I'm a PhD student in the Epithelial Casinogenesis Lab at the Spanish National Cancer Research Center in Madrid. My, in our lab, we're interested in the study of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, which is the most aggressive type of pancreatic cancer and one of the most lethal human diseases. Less than 5% of the patients that are diagnosed with this disease survive for longer than five years. In the majority of cancers, early detection is key for survival. However, in pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, early is already too late. This is the reason why it's crucial to understand the factors that contribute to pancreatic cancer development. My project focuses on the study of NR5A2, a gene that controls uh, pancreas development. This gene is not exactly the same in all individuals. There are multiple variants of this gene in the population, and some of them predispose for pancreatic cancer development. To mimic what happens in these patients, we work with mice that carry a mutation in the NR5A2 gene. Similar to what happens in humans, these mice are more likely to develop chronic pancreatitis and also pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. They experience much more aggressive pancreatitis and take twice as much the time to recover from it. These differences are crucial since chronic pancreatitis is one of the major risk factors for pancreatic cancer development. During my PhD, I found that the microorganisms that inhabit our digestive tract, which we usually refer to as the microbiota or the microbiome, control inflammation in the pancreas of mice that have a mutation in the NR5A2 gene. If we get rid of the gut microbiome completely by using broad spectrum antibiotics, these mice do no longer suffer from pancreatitis. Of course, since the microbiome plays a key role in nutrition and metabolism, getting rid of the microbiome completely is not an option in humans. However, there are multiple strategies by which we can control or change the population of microorganisms uh, in humans. Going back to what I said earlier, no, we cannot change our genetic material. No, we cannot get rid of the mutations or variants that we inherit from our parents. However, our results suggest that the effects of certain mutations and certain variants in the pancreas can be prevented by changing the composition of uh, the microorganisms that inhabit our gut. These results could potentially contribute to design uh, preventive and therapeutic strategies against pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma.